Well, we want you to be happy with us. We believe in our product and uh, we've taken every precaution we can to be safe at everything we've done. But as in all toys, whether they're for your pets or whether they're for children, uh, we need to kind of go over a few things. First of all, I want to make it perfectly clear, these toys have been designed for pets, not for children. And I want to make sure that we have stated that very clearly. When you're finished with your cast and twitch rod, the best thing that you can do for young children that you may have in your home, as well as pets that you may have that are unsupervised, is to simply take your rod with the toy and first of all, if you know you're going to use it again, just simply put it up on a high place. This is my entertainment center. This is up high. Now, if you have a pet that will jump up, you may want to consider taking it and dissembling it and taking it completely apart. As we've done here, just take it apart, remove the line, remove the toy. Well, first of all, let's remove the toy and then we'll remove the line and then we'll take this and you can put it back in the tube that it came in and put it up on a high shelf so that it's out of the reach of children. The other thing that we want to go over with you is that some of our toys we have coated with a layer of, of epoxy and they are not meant to be outside nor are they meant to be chew toys for your dogs or your cats. These are simply, it's made so they have a slick surface so that cats can play with them and tease with them much easier. And, but if from time to time, uh, if this one, for example, I used out on a patio and I shouldn't have because of the, the epoxy surface, this is meant to be used on a carpet. But if it starts to show wear and tear, you need to make sure that you throw it away. And I'm just going to show you some toys here that have been well used. This is made out of foam, but I'll tell you what, our cute little shadow cat has just chewed the living dickens out of that. And it's just, you know, we're thinking about it's about the point to replace it. Also. Look at the line here. This is the bungee cord that has just simply worn out. It's time to discard the bungee cord, put a new one on. Okay? Here we show a toy that uh, this is our uh, booby head fly, booby eye fly, and the, the foam has just literally been chewed nearly apart. And this is time to totally discard this toy. Just get it away from all of your animals. Okay? Uh, let's see, here we go. The same thing here. This has an epoxy finish on it. Uh, when it starts to show wear and tear, or if you notice your cat is starting to bite it, this may not be a... a uh, if your do pet or dog is a biter, then you probably don't want to even purchase the epoxy coated one. All right, next on in line. Oh, yes. If you know for sure that the toy you have purchased wants to be just a standalone toy, now remember we've talked about that, all of our toys can be standalone toys. They don't have to be used with the cast and twitch rod. But if you know for sure that you're not going to use it and you want it specifically to be used on the floor and never use the rod, then take a minute and take the uh, the loop-to-loop -loop connector off. And we'll just hurry and do that real quickly and we'll pull it off and take it off and we'll store it for another time or maybe we want to put it back on later. But you still have the loop that comes with the toy, the little, um, it's the connector loop is what we call it. Take a minute and just simply take a pair of scissors and cut it off. One other thing, if you have small children in the home, we offer a toy that is our door hanger. And I'm just going to hold this up here so you can get a feel for what this actually looks like. This has been mounted with several toys so that we can actually hang and each day if I want I can put a new one. If you have children, this is probably not a good idea to have, meaning children that are toddlers or children that are crawling. Uh, these work on the principle of a stretch bungee cord. And if we just drop that and I'll kind of hold that up there, you can see that this is Something, if you've got a child walking around in a walker or crawling or learning how to walk, this would probably not be a good item but to put in your home. So I want you to consider that in the thought process if you, if you decide you want to purchase this. We've been asked about the age limit and what we would put on this cast and twitch rod system. And I have stated before that if you have eyesight, if you have the use of your hands and your arms, that it, age doesn't matter. However, these are meant for uh, pet toys and not for children, and so we are putting a recommended age of eight years of age. Now, we hope you enjoy the cast and twitch rod system. It's a lot of fun. It can provide great entertainment for you and exercise for your cat and your puppies and your dogs 
and we just want you to have a good time. And, but most of all, we want you to exercise wise judgment and be safe.